Hi, I'm Angela Ginnett, and welcome to Character Modeling in Blender 2.5. In this first part, we're going to start by preparing our reference photos in GIMP. These few minutes we spend on doing this step now will greatly help in speeding up our workflow by reducing much of the guesswork during the modeling phase. To maximize the realism and accuracy of our 3D character, we'll be using high-quality human photo references from 3D.sk. We'll start by opening up the front reference image for the head and name this layer Front. Click and drag from the border ruler to add one vertical guideline for the center of the head and horizontal guidelines for other key areas such as the eyes, nose, mouth, top of the head, hairline, chin, and top and bottom of the ear. Pressing Shift-R and placing the pivot point to the center, we're going to rotate the image so left and right key features line up to the guides. With our front view now lined up, we'll increase our canvas size by selecting Image, Canvas Size. Unlock to extend canvas width to 200%. This will give us more room to work with. Next, we'll open the side reference image for the head. Copy and paste this image into our canvas, and we'll name this new layer Side. Using Shift-T to scale, adjust the side view to line up with both guidelines and the front image. We'll adjust the rotation. Lower the layer's opacity value to about half. And continue adjusting the image using the Scale, Rotate and Move tool until key areas line up as closely as possible. Once that's done, we'll move this side image over to line up its center to the vertical guideline. Set this layer's opacity value back to 100%. As a final step, we'll use the Crop tool. Click and drag over the area we want to keep, and press Enter to apply. With only the side layer visible, we'll save this new image and name it Head side. Next, with only the front layer visible, we'll save this as a new image and name it Head Front. After aligning and matching up our images, we'll review them and correct any missing or inaccurate information. Note how the top of the head on our side view is cropped out. The square is added as a loose guide to measure head's proportional length and depth. We'll use this to roughly estimate and fill in the contour of the scalp underneath the hair. Save this new image as Head Side 2.
there's a lot of additional key information on the facial structure provided in three-quarter views that are not visible in the front and side views. So we'll be using these to help us out as well. We'll prepare these three-quarter views in the same way we did for the side view, adjusting them using scale, rotate, and move tools. Save this new image as head three-quarter. And save this new image as head three-quarter back. Uh, 